Here, Dave, look behind you. Who's that coming down there? Yeah, do you see that lady there waving at you? What? Is that mum? <laughs> Is that mum? <laughs> you didn't have a clue. You had no idea at all. Nice one. I need another second. Just hey everyone, so it's approximately, I think about 6 in the morning here. I've just showed you where I'm at. We're staying at Pier 1 Hotel in Sydney, which is right down at the front. I am below the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Which is what that noise is right now, which is crazy. And it's absolutely gorgeous here. I think it's about 20 degrees. And one of my favourite things to do when I'm travelling in another city is to get up morning, early in the morning when I'm jet lagged and um, to go for a run. I would love to do like six or seven mile, but because I don't have Wi-Fi um, right here and I can't use my phone, but then I don't really kind of know the distance. And obviously I'm not going to want to run somewhere if I don't know how the heck I'm going to get back again. I look really pain on this. Um, <laughs> so I just can't believe I'm looking at the Sydney Opera House right now. It's amazing. Um, yeah, first initial impressions of Sydney is that it is absolutely insane. It is like, look at this. How could it not be insane? Anyway, yeah, it's so we arrived yesterday early in the morning to the airport and you've seen that we surprised David, my mum's with me, and um, we arrived there and that was that was really good. That was really emotional, it was really easy to get through the flights, really good experience. We flew with Emirates if you want to ask any questions about that, I'll tell you about that. And um, yeah, it was awesome. So today I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. I am gonna go burn off a load of calories because I feel like I've just sat on my ass for the last however many hours, 20 hours or whatever on a flight. So it feels really good to get out, to watch the sunrise, to appreciate how awesome Sydney is. To take you with me to see it, of course. And um, we're gonna go climb Sydney Harbour Bridge today, gonna go to Bondi Beach again, and the city is amazing. Like, if you wanna come to Sydney, you just need to do it. one of those things and you run and flip the camera around and um, yeah it's just really good to get out early and appreciate where you're at and nature and I think I just look around at this and it's like this is such a different lifestyle last time I ran it was raining it was at home in Northern Ireland so it was very very wet and here obviously it's like the absolute opposite so um, yeah it's just a blessing to be here To the other side, yeah. Wish me luck. Look at all the almonds and nuts that you can buy here, and all the protein things we don't get at home. I'm a baddies. Stocking up because we're gonna climb a bridge. So we were just on our way to meet David at the Sydney Harbour Bridge, and um, a little bit out of breath. Um, back in the old workout stuff, this is some of the stuff that I put in Snapchat. It's the pre-mark workout clothes. This top I think was about six pound. Totally recommend it. And what? <laughs> My mum's laughing at me. Anyway, um, I am the map leader for this. This could be a disaster. I think we go straight on here, Harbour Lane. Yes, yes it is. Pretty pantry. And um, yeah, so I can't actually fit anything at the top of the bridge here because Interesting fact, if you drop something from the top of the bridge, because of the height that you're at, and if that knocks someone, obviously it's going to kill them or do some serious damage. So I can't video anything, can't take any photos, but yeah, maybe I'll be able to buy some photos or something like that. That'll be quite fun to look at, so I don't know if you can see people up there, like on the walkway, but that's where we're going. And you need to get harnessed into a jumpsuit, and hopefully you don't fall over. Ah. Oh hey, hey look, it's my car. Oh, oh wait, no. 
because I don't live in Australia. Have you ever climbed a bridge before, David? Never bothered. Never. Driven over it, First but time. never climbed it. How do you feel about this? Levels of excitement on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, probably 5. The jumps that I'm gonna be wearing, minus the sunglasses and the dodgy cap. Okay, guys, let's do this. I took a left turn, I should have gone right, and somehow I ended up coming up the bridge. amazing views and um, you know, it's just something I feel like you can do if you're going to be in Sydney. It's a really good thing to do, to take people to do. You can go at sunrise, you can go at night time, you can even go um, for New Year's Eve the fireworks which would be a really cool experience and um, yeah it was really good, really enjoyed it so we did. Um, we grabbed a little bite to eat in that place I just showed you there. Um, it's hugely popular. You'll find it in loads of guides and things like that for places you should go to in Sydney because of the views of the Sydney Opera House. But as you'll have just seen, um, we didn't get any views of the Opera House because there's a giant cruise liner blocking the way. Looking back to the hotel and random thought of the day. Um, I'll probably address this topic a lot more whenever I get back home or maybe in another video, I don't know. But I find eating in Australia to be amazing. Like we went into the supermarket with loads of organic fresh fruit and veg and I was like, I love life. <laughs> How sad am I? Um, but honestly, even when you go out somewhere um, that it doesn't really offer loads of kind of vegetarian, vegan options, um, the salads are just awesome. Like. Um, I mean, the ingredients over here, they just work with a lot more. They're a lot more creative, a lot kind of more proactive about finding different types of ingredients. Goji berry, and different nuts, toasting and things in different ways, like working a lot more with herbs and spices and doing different things like that. Whereas I find at home that um, salads, oh gosh, maybe it's light. Um, I find at home that salads are really, really potatoes and mayonnaise, and obviously that's an Irish thing, but I mean like, come on, we need better food. 